Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that feels very current events but also connects deeply to some big, timeless questions about what it means to live in a place, to call it home, even when it stops feeling like one. We're talking about the states in the US that Americans are leaving in droves. Whenever you hear about something like mass migration, it's easy to think about it in terms of statistics, right? Like, oh, 300,000 people moved out of this state last year. But those numbers represent individual lives, families, hopes, dreams, all making incredibly difficult decisions. We're going to explore the reasons behind this trend, from the sky-high cost of living in some places, to economic struggles in others, and even, yeah, the quality of life issues that make people feel like they have to seek a better life elsewhere. Stay tuned to find out if your state is on the list. We begin our journey in California, a state that's often been synonymous with opportunity, with the promise of a better life, a place where dreams are made and futures are forged. From the gold rush to the tech boom, California has always held this allure, this sense of possibility, a beacon for those seeking fortune and innovation. But recently, that narrative has started to shift, and the shine of the Golden State is beginning to dull. More than 367,000 residents left California between 2020 and 2021. And while that's a number that's hard to wrap your head around, it's important to remember that each one of those people had their reasons, their own stories of why they chose to leave. The cost of living in California, particularly when it comes to housing, is astronomical, making it difficult for many to afford even the basics. Like, we're talking median home prices well over a million dollars in many areas, prices that are out of reach for the average family. And sure, salaries in places like Silicon Valley can be high, but are they high enough to offset the cost of, you know, actually living there? The answer for many is a resounding no. For many people, the answer is a resounding no. The financial strain is just too much to bear. Then there's the issue of taxes, which adds another layer of complexity to the financial burden. California has some of the highest income taxes in the nation, and while those taxes are supposed to fund things like education and infrastructure, the results haven't always lived up to the price tag, leaving many to question the value they're getting. So, you're paying more, but are you getting more in return? That's a question a lot of Californians are asking themselves. That's a question a lot of Californians are asking themselves, weighing the pros and cons of staying in a state that seems to demand so much. And of course, we can't talk about California without mentioning the ever-present threat of natural disasters, which add another layer of uncertainty to life here. Wildfires, droughts, earthquakes, these are not just abstract possibilities in California, they're a part of life, a constant reminder of the fragility of living in this beautiful yet volatile state. So, you've got this combination of factors, high cost of living, high taxes, the looming threat of natural disasters, all converging to create a situation where, for many, the California dream starts to feel more like a distant memory, a dream that's slipping away. People are leaving, searching for more affordable, more stable, and perhaps more predictable lives elsewhere, in places where they can build a future without the constant financial and environmental pressures. But here's the thing about California that makes this whole situation so fascinating. It's a state of contrasts and contradictions. Even with all of these challenges, it remains a cultural powerhouse, a global center for technology and entertainment, a place where innovation and creativity thrive. It's a place that continues to draw people in, even as others are packing their bags, a testament to its enduring allure and the complex reality of life in the Golden State. Our next stop takes us across the country to the Empire State, New York. Now, New York City in particular, has always been seen as this beacon of opportunity, a place where dreams are made of, you know, if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere kind of vibe. The city has been a magnet for ambitious individuals from all walks of life. But lately, that narrative, much like the California dream, has been facing some harsh realities. The allure of the Big Apple is being overshadowed by significant challenges. The cost of living in New York City is notoriously high. Housing prices have skyrocketed, making it difficult for many to afford even a modest apartment. Rent eats up a huge chunk of people's incomes. And even basic necessities like groceries and transportation can feel like luxuries. The daily grind can be overwhelming. And while salaries in certain industries can be competitive for many, it's a constant struggle to just make ends meet. The pressure to keep up with the high cost of living is relentless. And then there's the issue of taxes, which surprise, surprise, are also quite high in New York. 
the financial burden can be a heavy one to bear. When you're paying a premium to live in a city that feels increasingly crowded and, frankly, kind of difficult to navigate, it's easy to see why people might start looking elsewhere for a better return on their hard-earned money. The congestion and hustle can be overwhelming. But it's not just about the money, right? There's also a certain energy, a pace of life in New York City that can be exhilarating for some, but utterly exhausting for others. The constant rush can take a toll on one's well-being. It's a city that never sleeps, but sometimes you just really need a good night's rest, you know? The relentless pace can leave you feeling drained. And so, we're seeing this exodus from New York, particularly among young people and families who are finding it increasingly difficult to build a life, let alone raise a family, amidst the soaring costs and relentless pace. The dream of a stable, comfortable life seems out of reach for many. They're seeking out more affordable options, more space, and perhaps a little more breathing room, both literally and figuratively. The appeal of a quieter, more manageable lifestyle is growing. And as the cost of living continues to rise in many major cities across the U.S., it's a trend we're likely to see play out in even more dramatic ways in the years to come. The search for a better quality of life is driving people to explore new horizons. Chapter 3 the Prairie State's Uncertain Future. From the coasts we venture now to the American heartland, to the state of Illinois. And while Illinois might not have the glitz and glamour of California or New York, it's a state that's been grappling with its own set of challenges, challenges that have led to a steady decline in its population. One of the biggest issues facing Illinois is its economy. The state has struggled to attract and retain businesses leading to job losses and a shrinking tax base. And when the economy falters, people feel it. They feel it in their wallets, they feel it in their communities, and they feel it in the sense of uncertainty about the future. And speaking of taxes, Illinois has the dubious distinction of having the highest property taxes in the nation. Now property taxes are meant to fund essential services like schools and infrastructure, but when they become overly burdensome, they can actually end up discouraging people from putting down roots or, in some cases, forcing them to uproot altogether. But it's not just the economic factors that are driving people away from Illinois. There's also a sense among some that the state is plagued by political corruption and dysfunction. So, you've got this combination of economic stagnation, high taxes, and a perceived lack of opportunity that's creating a sense of disillusionment among many Illinois residents. And as a result, they're leaving, seeking out states with stronger economies, lower taxes, and perhaps a more optimistic outlook on the future. Chapter 4. The Garden State Wilts Under Pressure. Our journey continues to the Garden State, New Jersey, a state that's often overshadowed by its larger, more famous neighbor to the north, New York City. But while New Jersey might not have the same global recognition as New York City, it shares a similar problem, the high cost of living, which is becoming a significant issue for many residents. Now, New Jersey is known for its excellent schools, its beautiful beaches, and its proximity to major metropolitan areas, making it an attractive place to live for many. But all of that comes at a price, a price that many residents are finding increasingly difficult to afford, especially as the cost of living continues to rise. Property taxes in New Jersey are among the highest in the nation, and the cost of housing, whether you're renting or buying, can be staggering, especially in areas close to New York City, where demand is high. And while salaries in some sectors can be competitive, for many, it's a constant struggle to keep up with the rising cost of living, which seems to outpace wage growth. And it's not just the financial burden that's weighing on New Jersey residents. The stress of making ends meet can take a toll on mental health and overall well-being. There's also the issue of space, or rather the lack thereof. New Jersey is one of the most densely populated states in the U.S. that lack of space can lead to a sense of claustrophobia, a feeling of being squeezed both literally and figuratively, as people navigate their daily lives in crowded conditions. So you've got this combination of factors, high cost of living, high taxes, a lack of affordable housing, and a sense of being crowded, all converging to create a situation where many New Jersey residents are feeling priced out, stressed out, and frankly, a little bit fed up. This has led to an increasing number of people considering leaving the state in search of a more affordable and spacious living environment. Chapter five. The Wolverine State's Winter of Discontent. Our final stop takes us to the Wolverine State, Michigan, a state that's been through its share of economic ups and downs. Once a powerhouse of American manufacturing, Michigan has struggled in recent decades to adapt to a changing global economy, 
the decline of the auto industry hit Michigan particularly hard, leading to job losses, factory closures, and a sense of uncertainty about the future. And while there have been efforts to diversify the state's economy, those efforts have been slow to yield widespread prosperity. And then there's the weather. Michigan winters are notoriously harsh, with long stretches of cold snow and ice. And while some people relish the opportunity to break out their snowshoes and winter coats, for others, it's a constant battle against the elements. But it's not just the weather that's driving people away from Michigan. There's also a sense among some that the state lacks opportunity, especially for young people. So you've got this combination of factors, a struggling economy, harsh winters, and a perceived lack of opportunity, all contributing to Michigan's population decline. So there you have it, a glimpse into the reasons why Americans are leaving certain states in droves. From the high cost of living in California and New York, to the economic struggles of Illinois and Michigan, these migration patterns reflect the complex challenges facing many parts of the U.S. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.